absolute pitch is more prevalent among the Eastern Conservatory students than the Western. American psychologist Diana Deutsch suggested that the potential for acquiring absolute pitch may be realized by enabling infants to associate pitches with verbal labels during the critical period for the acquisition of features of their native language. Namely, early exposure to the tonal languages such as Chinese and Cantonese of Asian musician may facilitate the development of absolute pitch. Geneticist Peter Gregerson disagreed with the aforementioned statement. He stated that there are two factors associated with the development of absolute pitch and should be taken into account. First, the age at which formal musical training is begun. And second, exposure to fixed to training before the age of seven. Moreover, language exposure could play a role, but certainly many other factors should be considered. For example, it is plausible that cultural factors lead to the selection of subjects with absolute pitch and provoke parents to provide early musical lessons and later pursue advanced musical training in the Asian community. Also, absolute pitch is more valued as a pedagogical goal in many Asian countries. So, how is music education different in Asia and Western countries? This research examined the absolute pitch and relative pitch abilities cross-culturally. 1,016 undergraduate students varied in the musical training level from five countries participated in two tests of this study, respectively absolute pitch test and relative pitch test. Two major findings were revealed. First, it showed that a large proportion of participants had accurate absolute pitch in Japan and, to a lesser extent, in China, while in the Western countries, only a small minority had absolute pitch. Significantly, it suggested that absolute pitch prevalence is higher in Japan than in China. This result was opposite to the prediction from the tone language hypothesis of absolute pitch proposed by Deutsch. Though as one of the environmental factors, it shouldn't be ruled out as one factor behind the phenomena. Still, we should note that there may be multiple factors contribute to absolute pitch development. A genetic predisposition probably providing the basis of expression of absolute pitch early exposure to a tonal language partly contributing to later absolute pitch development, early learning with specific training methods leading to absolute pitch acquisition, and the socio-cultural zeal favoring absolute pitch. Second, this study revealed an opposite pattern of the distribution of the absolute and relative pitch accuracy. As a whole, Japanese participants with the highest accuracy in absolute pitch test performed the worst in the relative pitch test and vice versa. Along this line, absolute pitch is inversely related to relative pitch, implying that absolute pitch may interfere with relative pitch processing in a musical context. Indeed, many musicians with absolute pitch in control also made particular efforts to attain proficiency in relative pitch, which enables them to take advantage of absolute pitch as a useful tool. The real problem, however, would be that absolute pitch may interfere with the proper development of relative pitch in a broader context. From a developmental perspective, absolute pitch is a more primitive pitch processing mode. In contrast, relative pitch entails more advanced pitch processing that develops later than absolute pitch. From a sociocultural perspective, children acquiring absolute pitch at a young age may rely mostly on it and remain unaware of the value of relative pitch training. Hence, they may fail to develop critical relative pitch skills sufficiently. In the long term, more emphasis should be placed on relative pitch training, particularly in East Asian countries.